Hi friends, welcome back to Excel VBA Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'm uh, showing you how to create a chart with the help of macro, Excel chart with an Excel help of macro. So this uh, particular video is uh, made with a purpose to uh, create more interest in viewers uh, to use the VBA. Creating a chart with macro is only an example but the main uh, purpose of this video is to make sure that the viewers will be um, getting into VBA more and they try to learn VBA more so it will help them to create interest so in this I am following three steps so first step is I am recording a macro while creating a chart manually so I select a range and then create a ma create a chart etc and then the second step what I do is I edit the code I am going to edit the code of the range selection and then I will make sure that it will have it will get automated so that instead of uh, I select the range manually an input box will tell me to select the range and then, then I select it and then accordingly the chart will be made and uh, how to uh, edit the chart related macro the code alone and modify it so that we can make a final macro and it will become and it look like an uh, manual code written and it's more professional let us get into the example now Now the first step is I will record the macro so I am going to start record button you can start from here also just go to developer tab and record macro etc so I have created this is macro 4 and then I have selected the range so I have to say yes and then I have to, I have to select the range and go to insert and then select the chart type done I need to close I need to stop the recorder now the chart is done now I need to go to the code your code go to module and just I'll remove all these things just for the convenience purpose and now uh, the code is appearing so I wanted to the second step is I want to make sure the range selection is automated for that I need to declare a, a variable range as range and then I have to create one uh, input box so that that input box will ask me to please select the range for that set range is equal to application dot input box the moment you write input box the message will appear what you have to do so there you need to give a, a prompt as a string so where I am writing uh, select uh, a range and then uh, remaining all are not required and uh, because uh, all are in uh, uh, square brackets what are what are there in square brackets are not required much but only thing is type is much is a must the type is basically we have different types for input box that I am going to explain in a uh, another video where I am actually doing the uh, Excel VBA uh, basics so type is uh, we need to write here as type 8 type 8 is basically the range object related uh, input box so type is equal to 8 done so my code is ready so I have actually what I have done the selection process the selecting the range I have automated let us see how it uh, appears the moment I uh, run the sub the input box will come then I go to Excel and then select the range so that is what I have done so once I have done uh, it is going to the next level that's okay that is a different thing now we need to make sure that the uh, code of uh, the chart need to be uh, done so this range uh, b3 to f9 is not required because we have already selected there this is done but now this code has to be checked this code everything is fine we need not touch anything only thing is the range thing need to be fixed so instead of range we have already declared the range so we need to say rng that is all we have done now you see the code will do a kind of uh, professional way it does so now I'm going to uh, develop a tab go to macro and macro 4 if I run it will ask me to give the input like uh, the range if I say yes the chart is appearing very simple and uh, I'm not showing you anything like how to prepare a chart through macro but I'm telling you how easy to create a code within VBA to do anything so this is very uh, 
uh, easy way and if you learn if you practice you can do more uh, better job in VBA so as usual client kindly practice and uh, please uh, like my videos share my videos and subscribe to get more uh, updates uh, whenever I upload a new video so I have given the uh, value and meaning of uh, each uh, input box um, uh, types if it is a when you are actually giving a formula within the input box you need to say type colon is equal to so and so and if it is a number if it is a text if it is a logical value if it is a cell reference or a range object if it is an error value if an array value or so many things which are disc which are going to be discussed in my excel vba basics and uh, thank you